going to put you right there, mister. Right, I am determined to get a perfect, uh, well, perfect score, yes, one day, not just yet. But for now, just to beat my best score on Time Guesser, this great new game that I've been playing, where we try and guess the time and location, the date and the location that a photo was taken, usually historic photos. So I'm going to try and beat it again, 46,300 roughly is what the score is. This was supposed to be a Geo Detective again for you this week, but yet again, uh, it's proving incredibly hard, almost as hard as the last one. I didn't mean for it to be, I promise. I really wanted it to be over a bit more quickly this time, but it's driving me mad. So that'll be good when it does come out. At the end of this vid, I'm going to briefly, very briefly talk about plans for upcoming adventures and how it's affecting the video schedule. But for now, let's play. Apparently, we can do a share link, by the way. But I didn't see it at the start there, so it must be at the end. But basically... You can play along, I think, and it's not too late to do so, because I haven't given you any clues yet. So play along. Check out the inscriptions in the destruction. And what have we here? I need to shut this blind. Right. In terms of fashion, we really do have, I mean, they are really strutting their stuff there. So unlike sometimes where the fashion you can't really tell if the people are fashionable, so you don't know what year it is. On this occasion, you do. You do know that they're, they're at the height of fashion. Their haircuts, their clothes. So, uh, if only I knew anything about fashion, that would be helpful. I'm thinking, based on these buildings, don't actually know. I was going to say New York, but... I don't know. I'm going to go New York. And then I'll guess the year. This one is... I'm not going to spend too long on this one. Because... Um, well... I can't see it being right. Fashion... 66. That's embarrassing. I'm just very relieved that I didn't compliment their looks or their figures. Got away with one there, but we, we start again. 1959, by the way. Wow. Um, transgender, really? Not just dressing up? There's a difference, isn't there? Oh, let's not go down that road. Okay. Right, this one should be a little bit easier. Um, Barack Obama, hopefully that's right, I mean, um, and Ghana, is that the Ghanaian flag, or am I being, uh, influenced by the, the clothes on some of these women, men, we, oh, f um, no, I think it's Ghana, so... Let's get in there. Let's go Accra. I think we'd be very unfortunate if this isn't in Accra, the capital of Ghana. Where would it be? Um, police headquarters? No. University? No, that's a medical university. Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Let's try that. And the year we are going to go for here. Ah, we do have a clue here. I don't know if it's a great clue. He doesn't look that old, but also, look at this phone. What is that? Is that a Nokia? It's got a camera on it, but that is not a new phone, I don't think. And look at that camera as well, look at these cameras. But then you're in Africa, so less wealth, less technologically advanced, but then, this will be a, a more wealthy crowd, I think. So, oh. So basically, we can't really jump to too many conclusions. But just the fact that there are so many digital cameras, I think uh, I'm going to go 2010. But it could be it could be 2008. 
could be 2000 no I'll go 2009 oh it's good it is good I've got the year get in I've got the year and I was 1.2 kilometers away where were we International Conference Center would have been good if I'd have searched a little bit longer but maybe not worthwhile for the time just for an extra 40 points considering I might have to have multiple attempts at this today because I'm pretty hell-bent on beating that score. Next round. Let me know how you got on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Does anyone recognise that? That is, if, if you're a Brit, that is an incredibly iconic river bend. It's in the opening sequence to EastEnders. And uh, it's just iconic, isn't it? Look at all this. What is all that? Are they all terraced houses? I think they're factories, potentially. Those are the terraced houses. Yeah, I think we can safely say that this is... Uh... Well, this is the thing. On Google Earth, there's imagery from 1945, which covers most of London and a few more areas of Britain. But I don't think this will be from then. I think this will be from when we were actually fighting the German planes uh, in the sky. So 40, 41. Um, and that might explain why there's less bombed buildings. Because in the 45 imagery, there's massive chunks that have just been uh, obliterated. So... 40, I'm going to say, and then I'm going to put the location. I mean, it's, it couldn't be easier, really, could it? The, the exact center of that is there. Kind of there. Yeah. Look how all those docks there have gone, turned into a woodland. So yeah, I'm going to go where I believe the centre of the photograph is, kind of there. Um, let's hope that that's accurate. Here we go. Incredible. Oh, it's a German bomber. How did I not even notice that? That's. I need to brush up on my history a bit, but not that much because that is a great score, to be honest. Uh, the location is... 125 meters away I would debate that um, and the year is what I'm most impressed with of course 1940 yeah 4041 is when most of the the raids were I believe we're doing good here this is my first proper attempt at this right French um, French railway station ah this is cool we can see the stations that the next trains are travelling to from this particular place. Metz, um, Nice, Avignon. I think we can work it out from this. I really do. Uh, can we? They are bloody spread out. Metz. Let's get in the map. Where's Metz again? It's there. We've got Avignon down there. Metz is up there. Nice is down there. So we could be in Lyon. Could be in Lyon, to be fair. Metz isn't too far from Lyon. And then... G, G. I just can't read it. Would that be Grenoble? Yeah, Grenoble. Ar oh, that's a good angle. Arle? Arle? I can't read that one. And then there's Paris at the top, I think. So all pointing to um, Leon, I would say. Got one starting with A and finishing with B, like it says Arleb. Is that nearer? If it were near to Leon, that would really cement it. Or is it Arles? Can't quite figure that one out. I've got to find that because that is the key. Wish me luck, I'm going on a search.
I think that that's probably our less. It, it's not going to be our leb with a B on the end, is it? That's not very French. And then the other one, I think it might say something Anisi, which is nearby again. So, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Leon Station. I have been to a few stations in Leon. In fact, I've actually slept on a platform. Um, but I'm just going to go the main train station. Where is it? Oh, this is it. Leon Part Du. I'll go there. We're going for it. What year are we going for? This is the question. I think late 90s, early noughties. Let's see, let's see, let's see. When is this? When is this? 2004, maybe? Or am I too late? It's, it's a bit harder to say than if it were in the UK because the styles are a bit different. I don't think this is 90s. I think this is early noughties. And I'm going 2004. That's where I'm going. Come on. Fingers crossed. Oh, 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 oh dear. I've been punished, but not as much as I thought um, for, for how far that is. I have lost nearly 2,000 points, which is quite a lot actually, but we were in Avignon, which I don't really get because wasn't that on the board? Maybe it's like another Avignon station. Kind of weird that there's a train to Metz from there, but... And then the year is 99, so they were a bit more stylish than I thought they were, in summary. Despite their relative style, I'm not sure I can look at this guy for one more second. So we move on. Ah, right, we've got two rounds to go, and really we can only lose 1,500 points. So this is tough. I can see it all crumbling down any time now. Right. I'm thinking Helmand Province, Camp Bastion, Afghanistan, 2006, but I don't know. Camp Bastion, is that, that's that's what it was called, isn't it? Um, don't know what's going on here, we've got a, got a fizzy pop bottle, which doesn't really date it to anything. Couldn't even tell you what, what nationality these troops are, whether they're American or British or what. A um, few baldies. That flag would indicate German, if anything, but don't think that's the case. Not sure what else to do other than to go for my, my hunch. We've got bottles of water. Bottled water I don't think was huge in the in like the 80s or 90s peaking in the noughties I would say but yeah I'm just going to go for that again because of time because I might be able to squeeze in another another game but actually where the hell is Helmand province in Afghanistan how do we how do we go about finding that and how do we find Camp Bastion? That is tough. Well, it's desert, isn't it? And it's flat. So I'm going to go somewhere around here. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to go... I think the peak of Afghanistan was sort of 2006. So that's what I'm doing. Dang. Dang it, man. Wasn't even that far away. But it was... 2013 US sugar we're out this could be the assassination of Franz Ferdinand but I haven't got time I want to get another game into this one um, for you attempt 16 yep it is the next day and I'm really sorry that I forgot to activate the play along link for that first game by not finishing it. So this is the play along. I'm sorry. 
Right, here we go then. New Zealand, Air New Zealand, Affordable Australia, Auckland Regional Authority. God, I went from New Zealand, Australia, back to New Zealand. So, Auckland is where we are, um, backed up by these palm trees. So it's going to be about the year here. And I am moving quick, by the way. I'm not hanging about. I'm, I'm going for the strategy of play lots of games and hope that it, I get luck eventually, rather than rely on the power of my brain. So I think that's a good spot. The year, the year, the year, the year. So there are planes flying around. That's one thing. I don't think we're going to get a hint for the year. <clears throat> we're going to have to judge it on the cars. So, and the fashion. Look at those flares. Look at that Greek god of a man, more to the point. Early 70s, I'm thinking. Early 70s, 71, 72. Don't think it's 60s, not with those flares. So I'll go 73 just in case, just because I think New Zealand would have been a bit behind on the times. 76. Well, wasn't I just right there? Either that or I don't really know what I'm talking about. Probably the latter. Um, the location was decent. And yeah, three years out. That's okay. Could have done with a few more points there. Right, next one, we have a juggler. I mean, that is just insane. Just don't, don't things like this just blow your mind. They're knives as well. And that one's on fire. I, I mean, that looks so dangerous, being that high up. I, I, he's distracting me. He's distracting me. I've got to move on. Virgin money. Seems like an old... I don't see much of virgin money anymore. Out of the blue... We do have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Maybe I'm wrong about the Virgin Money thing. Let me know. I'm just looking at all the clues I can here. I would say that this is like Edinburgh or Glasgow. Um, I hope we can find out. What's he got on? Is that a Rangers thing? It's raining, of course. She's got a new £5 note in her hand. That is, that's very helpful. That's a new £5 note that came out in the last three years, I would say. So, I was probably wrong about the Virgin Money. Fringe. Fringe, right? So it is Edinburgh. Fringe. I didn't even see that. Virgin Money Fringe. And we can look at the phones here as well. I mean, it is Scotland again, so... Oh, Sean Connery's here. It is Scotland, so... They're going to be a few years back as well. That's fine. We, we can take that into account. Um, so the phones will be sort of seven or eight or nine or ten or eleven years older. Well, it's Edinburgh. It's Edinburgh and it's 2020, I'm going to say. Don't know how accurate I can be here with the, with the street. But I am going to say that we are there. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going for total accuracy here. I'm going for, as I say, moving quickly. Because for all I know, rounds four and five might be impossible. So I'm going for 2020. I think those new notes were out then. Yeah, because her note looks quite crisp and new. So, yeah, I'd say when they first came out. Here we go. Do you know what? I realised just as I clicked that, that it couldn't be 2020. At what point in 2020 could people congregate like that? They couldn't. I just realised it as I clicked it, but I'm glad because I don't think I would have gone that long ago, 2017. Oh, those notes have been out. Those notes have been out a little while, actually. Yeah, longer than I thought. Anyway, 130 metres away. Three years off again. We can't keep that up, I don't think. Wow, there he is, Arnie. That is a young Arnie. That is a bloody young Arnie. Shit. Is it Arnie? It looks so long ago. Right, come on. 
We're on round three now. If I can get a good result here, we're in a good position. Uh, right, are we in Vienna? She is just perplexed, isn't she? Are we in Vienna or had he moved to America? I've got to try and read this. Osram. I just It just doesn't seem like English. CL, CL, S something EL. Don't really see what that could be. Um, I won't zoom in. Well, we haven't got a pair of binoculars, so I won't. It's irrelevant. Um, I'm just going to check that we're recording today. We are. Uh, yeah, and I don't think we've got much else to go off of here. I'm going in because I just think I'm going to stuff up the date here. Ah. Uh, he might be in Germany, but we'll go Vienna because he is from Vienna. I like the OS, o Osterreich. So that could be Osterreich, which means Austria, and then something, something, something. We're not on a church. It is tempting to look for some buildings shaped, shaped like this, isn't it? Some sort of round, big roundabout, uh, like there. The year. Everyone is dressed really smartly. So, and, and it's black and white. Well, how old is Arnie? I think this is how we need to do it. How old is Arnold Schwarzenegger? If he is, I'm, I'm, I'm not Googling it. I'm getting my calculator because I'm shit at maths. Okay. If he is, well, how old is he? Shit. Let's say he's 70. Four. That's my best guess. And let's say he's 20 there. 74 minus 20 is 54 years ago, right? 1969. That's what my calculations have, have done. But he might not be 20. He might be sort of 22. That is pretty mad if he was 20. So I'm going to go 1971. Let's do it. Ah, oh, he was in Munich. And it was 67. What? Ah. Uh, when did... So he moved to Munich and then he moved... To, I didn't know he was... I didn't know that and I didn't know that he was doing all this stuff so long ago. I thought it was 70s, 80s. 1967. I did not know that. And I think we've lost too many points now. We need perfect scores. Right, that will help. That will help. At least the location will. And you know what? Whatever happens here, I've had fun. This will be the video. Um, right, here's the White House. Here is the White House. The White House lawn. I was here recently with Greg. And, well, we've got to be there, haven't we? No, we're there. Yeah, I believe that's right. Now, this date, bloody hell. Who are these people? Am I supposed to know who this is? Oh, God. I'm going to embarrass myself if I try and guess who this is. So I might not bother. I don't recognise the older chap. I've just got to figure out where they're from could impact this hugely. Because if they're from sort of some random village in, you know, Turkey, then it, it could be now. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? If they're from the States, you know, from Washington, then their fashion is going to be a lot more of the time. What shirt has he got on? Is that like a Star Wars shirt or something? I've got 70... Could be anything, for, couldn't it, from... 74 to 84 it really could that's what I've learned on this it's very hard to pinpoint a year because of the different factors that that can be at play not least the quality of the photo well if my range is 74 to 84 why don't I go for a 79 how about that it's in the middle here we go yes it's Pablo Escobar 
If you sat me here long enough and, and made me name someone, I think I might have got that actually. But I'm really pleased with that. I've only lost 200 points. It's set us up brilliantly for a great ending. 16 metres off and 1981. So yeah, I was right to go with the middle of my, my range bracket. So final round. Wow, Reagan Bush. Reagan Bush. Wow, we might have it here. We might have it here, guys. Oklahoma, Michigan. Oh, God, no. Right, it's 1980. I didn't know uh, Bush Senior was going then. Right, we've got, to, uh, we've got to read every single goddamn placard here. Reagan Bush, Indiana, Michigan, Oklahoma. So what I'm hoping desperately is that this is in D.C., 1980 looks pretty damn good for for these, you know, hairstyles and whatnot and the moustache and just the clothes and the camera quality. Ronald Reagan. That is him, isn't it? That is I think that's Reagan. It's hard to it's hard to tell. So oh, there's one more here. Uh, I think because there's so many um states that are mentioned here i think people have traveled i think that makes it i don't want to jinx it but quite likely that we are in washington if they were all saying indiana then i'd have cause for concern so where would he be addressing people i haven't got a clue maybe outside the capital um is it the the pool of reflection lincoln memorial i don't know it doesn't matter too much. I know it seems like a cop out, but at the end of the day, um, it, if it's DC, the points will be okay. It's the year. Yeah, it, well, we know the year. So I think I'm happy with that. I'm sorry if they address people from outside the White House. We'll still, we'll still do it if that's the case. So here we go. No, no. It's bloody Detroit. I might still have done it. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's my record? 46,300. I'm just thinking about those placards. So Michigan was there. Indiana was there. But then there was Oklahoma. All those people traveled all that way for that. I have copied that to the clipboard, um, but you've already played along, so that's irrelevant. That is gutting. I think my record was something like four six three five five, or something. I'll I'll put the number here. So painfully, painfully short, but a, a quite a consistent game that I had there in the end, and a really fun one. I really enjoyed that. Um, for the first time ever, you guys can let me know how you did um, in relation to me or just in general. Uh, that is the first ever play along for a Time Guesser game I've done. Uh, let me know also if you want to see more. And also, furthermore, if you want to see me try and get a perfect score on this one day, maybe with the aid of Googling, that might be the only way I'm going to do that because that took about 16 attempts just to not beat my best. So not easy at times. Finally, I just want to quickly mention um, that I am training for a big adventure uh, this winter. Um, it's going to be the most ambitious one I've ever done. Um, so that is affecting my video schedule and the frequency of videos. So is the incredibly hard geodetectives that I'm doing. And so is the adventure video that I'm currently editing, which should be released in a month or so, which I filmed back in September. So there is lots to look forward to. Um, it's just a lot of work sometimes, uh, even with the help of an editor. So if you ever think to yourself, oh, another GeoGuessr video, oh, another Time Guesser video, I am very busy. I am still working hard. Just wanted you to know that. Uh, that's enough rambling. See you for the next video. Thanks for watching.